Welcome back to Prepping with Pay. Today I'm going to be making pumpkin pie. So <laughs> Thanksgiving's around the corner. So this is a perfect recipe to whip up for your family. And I have a special guest with me today and she would like to introduce herself. Hey y'all, I'm Sandy. I'm a pole vaulter, Olympic silver medalist, and one of Peyton's good friends. And so when she asked me to come over here and cook an all natural pumpkin pie with her, I said, Heck yes, I'm in as long as I get to eat it. So I'm here. And we even kind of look alike and we both have the same belly button. Fun fact. <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh gosh. Things just got a little weird. Okay, so we're gonna start with the crust. Um, it's a, gonna be a gluten-free crust. It has coconut flour and almond flour. So Sandy is gonna go ahead and put a cup of almond flour in the bowl. Okay, almond flour. Yep, I'm gonna put it in the bowl. And, oh, it's already You're measured good. out? Yes. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Pre-measured. I can pour this into another yes. bowl and I'll probably break the other bowl at the same time. And then okay. next is the coconut flour. She'll go ahead and pour that one in. Dun, dun, dun. And then next is a whole stick of butter, which you have to have butter. It's, can I put my finger in this? Yes, no problem. problem. Okay. Because thanks, that's what Thanksgiving's all about, butter. So mm -hmm. a whole stick and it is already melted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rule number one for us Southerners, more butter. Better. Better butter. More butter is better. More butter is better. And then oh, one egg. egg. Okay. No problem. Ooh, that's buttery. Okay, egg cracking skills are not that great. Perfect. Oh, okay. No shells in there. And can I put this right? Yeah, here? that's fine. Cool. And then one fourth teaspoon of salt. Oh, I didn't know you put salt in there. That's interesting. Yep. Oh, I put an egg on my fingertips. And then half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and it's getting everywhere. Have you ever done the cinnamon challenge? I haven't. We should end the show with a cinnamon challenge. Oh, gosh. What about you spewing cinnamon all over the room? Okay, we can do that. Okay. <laughs> yep. And then... Vanilla? No vanilla. One tablespoon of maple syrup, which is my favorite. <laughs> the sweet. One of the main food groups is syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I love Buddy the Elf. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then you can go ahead and mix it all up. And it's okay. not going to mix perfectly. Just, just mix it all together. All right. Because almond flour and coconut flour doesn't have the same... Uh, consistency as regular flour would so it doesn't mix very well so just try and mix it <laughs> try and mix it the best you can okay oh this seems kind of dry I know are you sure this yes is correct. okay I trust you it's all good and then at the end we'll mix it with our with our hands that we, we did wash our hands okay and also with this kind of crust you can't roll it if it doesn't, it won't flatten with the roller because it's too crumbly. So we actually have to press it into the pan with our hands. Fun fact, I got this pan from Freckled Hen Boutique. And you guys should go check it out. Super cute. Home good stuff. Um, she has everything in her store that you could need for your house. Ooh. Yeah, it looks perfect. Okay. Is that good? So now I'll, I'll mix it with my hands. Okay. Cool. Okay, so you can kind of see it'll go together, but it just doesn't really flatten out. It starts getting crumbly, so that's why we have to press it into the pan. Okay, oh, yeah. work it, work it, churn it, churn it. Okay, so little by little we'll start um, pressing it in the pan, and you can make it as thick or as thin as you want it. So you can go ahead and press it into the pan and okay. get it as perfect as you want. But I don't like my crust to be super thick, so I'm going to make it as thin as possible because I usually don't even eat the crust. So yeah, I like to just eat pumpkin pie with a spoon. Yeah. Forget the crust. Pumpkin pie with a crust. Or the, the pumpkin part with the whipped cream. Yeah. The two to one. <laughs> yeah. The two to one <laughs> ratio. <laughs> two to one parts whipped cream to pumpkin pie. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, and then we're gonna get it on the edges 
this too. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, so you just tell me what no, you're I'm fine. doing. Just, you're gonna press it like you can make it thinner by like moving it okay. like that, and then we can fill in the bottom. Okay. Because like again, I just don't like crust. We so are. We're gonna make it thin. Work in this crust, y'all. Yeah, this crust is a little more work than the pre-packaged roll it out crust. It's totally worth it. But if you're trying to eat a little healthier for the holidays, I advise making this crust. You don't feel as good. Wait, I already forgot where we put in this. <laughs> Almond flour, coconut flour, <laughs> okay. maple syrup. We didn't put a whole stick of butter, but I mean, you but I mean, to, hey, butter is like really important for your you body. Have so. to have butter. It's really full of nutrition. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what it is. It's just fat. what is butter? <laughs> it's, it's literally fat. Then what's lard? Fat, not turned into butter. I don't know. I don't know the difference, honestly. Who put me on a cooking show? I obviously have no clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I can press it, crust it darn well. I know, it looks really good. Oh, yeah, because I touched it. <laughs> oh, it's like glowing. And we're, we're going to cook this uh, at 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how fast it cooks, because you, you never know with this type of... Am I doing this right? Yeah. Okay. With this type of flour, it'll cook di cooks differently and... So when you go to eat ovens. it, is it more crumbly than a regular? No, it does crust? stay together. It's a okay. little, it's, I would say it is a little drier, okay. which crust is dry to me, which is why I don't eat it. So, yeah. um, but with the whipped cream, it really does help the, the crust, if okay. you like crust. Okay. Okay, and this is what your crust will look like after it has been pressed all around the edges and on the bottom, and we put a thinner layer because we both don't like a lot of crust. You're gonna fork it, literally, just gonna fork it. <laughs> Make lots of little holes in it. We're gonna put it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes until it gets a little a light brown. Don't burn color. your hands. Okay, next part is the pumpkin part, the best part of the whole entire pie. So, Sandy, <laughs> Sandy is going to put it into this cute little Pioneer Woman bowl. Oh yeah, Percy. I am a Pioneer Woman. Mm -hmm. I am pioneering this pumpkin pie. Yeah, get you a girl that can cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the best part. We, I was going to make it a pumpkin, or the pumpkin part from scratch. But that's kind of a pain, so we just went to the can, and it's it's gonna taste just as good. All right, we're back. <laughs> next, next we're gonna add almond milk. This is unsweetened vanilla almond milk, um, half a cup. So I'm just I just replaced that with milk or condensed milk, um, and then next. Sandy can put in the Greek yogurt, and this will give the pie a little bit of uh, oh. creaminess. Oh, yay. <laughs> Wait, I need something better to scrape this out with. Oh, here you go. Okay. You can get as messy as you want. Pull the crust out of the oven. This is what it should look like. And it'll go back into the oven, but once we get the pumpkin inside, this looks perfect. It's light brown on the outside. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, Sandy. <laughs> I'm okay, a perfectionist. we're good. No, it's fine. <laughs> and oh, now, now it has character. It's, mm. it's probably a little. Okay. It's different. I, and I pretended that was not hot. I'm an idiot. It, <laughs> just, it is hot. Okay. Cracking three eggs into the pumpkin mixture. One. I cannot do that. How do you do that? Two. So crack and then move your hand or your fingers in opposite directions and... Okay, I've never been able to do this before. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, go for it. Okay. I'm so nervous. Wait, I gotta crack it. Yeah, more. there we go. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. Oh, and she did it.
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching our dorkiness and silliness throughout this video. And hopefully you can make this recipe for your family if you're trying to eat healthier. And then be sure to tune in to our cinnamon challenge. It should be interesting. I'm a little nervous about it. Her idea, not mine. <laughs> what?